fellow fourth graders, it's Miss Leanne. Today we are going to be working in the next piece of our learning within place value relationships. Key word in here is relationships, how things are connected. So our objective is, is recognizing that a digit in one place is 10 times the value of the same, that's the word same digit in a place to its right. So we're gonna go ahead and do a few examples of this to help show how um, when you're in one place, how another place can be 10 times more. Within our cheat sheet, I would like to make some connections. So if we have a number in the ones place, like let's say a three, okay? So I'm gonna say three times one. If I move from the three in the ones place, to a three in the tens place. That's like saying this number, which is three, and I'm gonna move it one place and that would be three times 10, which would be 30, because this one would be three and then this one would be 30. If I hop one more down, I would be still taking that three, same digit, and moving that to the next place, which would be another 10. So that'd be like this time, it goes from here to here, which is 10 times more, but it's in the hundreds place. So three times 100 is 300. So I'm doing three times 10, right? And then 30 times 10, which is 300 and so on and so forth. So here is our first example in a place value table. In our place value table, I have the number 5,500. There is a relationship between this five and this five. This five is a five in the hundreds place. So I would be saying five times 100, and that would be equal to 500, which is true. This is a five in the hundreds. And when I move from here to here, that's like saying five times 1,000, which would be 5,000. If I put this in another way, this would be like saying 500. I'm going from here to here, 500 times 10 equals 5,000. Please know that when you are going from one space to the next going left, it is going to be whatever this number is times 10. So if this is 500, 500 times 10 will equal 5,000. Again, these digits need to be the same though. Both of these digits are a five. So the digits have to be the same for you to know that five times this number will be 10 times more to get that number. Another example could be this, 1,100. So I have a one in the hundreds place, so that would be 100. And then I have a one in the thousands place, which would be 1,000. How do you get from 100 to 1,000. Remember, you are going to be multiplying. So I will multiply 10 times 100. And when I do 10 times 100, I get my answer of 1,000. This is the same digit. Both of these are ones. I am moving from the place, the hundreds, one spot to the left. And that would be the thousands place. So a hundreds times 10 equals a thousands. Last example. I have this number, which is 5,045. And the question I'm being asked is the value of this five right here. And this five is their relationship 10 times more. So the question is, is the value of the first five, 
which is this five right here in the thousands, is this 10 times more than this five right here? So when I go here and I hop all the way over here, are these, is this one 10 times more than that one? Well, let me see. When I make one hop, that is times 10. So I would do five times 10 and that equals 50. This five right here is in the 1000 space. This is 5000. So no, this is not 10 times greater than that. How do I get there? I have to do five times what number to equal 5,000? I would need to do five times 10, 20, sorry, 10, 100, 1,000. So five times 1,000 is going to get me my answer of 5,000. So 5,000 is 1,000 times greater than this digit, which is five in the ones place. This is something we are going to be practicing more of. This is a concept that we need to spend time and really think about.